Hi, you might not know this about me, but I also like working on motorcycles. So today what we're working on is a 1970 or 71 XS 650 for my buddy Caden. This bike uh, has had a bit of a tank slapper and you can see here that there's a, a bit of a ding and we're going to try and go after that and generally go over, assess any of the damage that's on here and we're going to repair it. <laughs> so we're going to go over this and assess the damage and what I've done here is I put some green tape just so that I know where some of the damage is in a couple of spots. Back here, there's a little ding there. There's also a little ding right here, so we're gonna put some tape on that and mark it out so that we know where it is. Then, one of the things that you'll notice on this tank, if you compare it to a stock XS650 tank, there should be a badge right about here. And although this tank looks nice and smooth, we've taken a boroscope inside the cap and we've noticed that this tank is actually in really good shape on the inside. And there is the indents for the, uh, the badges that go on here. So we're gonna start with our worst damage. Now, it's really hard to get in there to repair it. So we're gonna strip it off. We're gonna get the stud gun and we're gonna pull this. And basically what we're trying to do here is replicate the damage in the opposite. <laughs> What I've got here is a 3M clean and strip disc and what we'll do with this is we'll strip off the paint down to the bare metal. Now I like these because they're uh, a plasticized woven wheel and they'll strip the paint off without damaging any of the metal. So what we've got here, we stopped because I wanted to show what's happening here. This is the proper way to use body filler. This white line that's here, this is body filler. This is a skim coat. This is the proper way to do it. And what happened was the tank got dented and the body filler moved with it. So that tells us two things. This was applied properly and it was also a, a really good product that was used. So what ends up happening is the better the product you use and if it's used properly, any repairs that need to be done in the future, it's way easier to make those repairs. Clip that off and see where we're at. So I probably have to grind that off because so I was getting into my it welded in truck. so far. So I'll grind that off and then we'll bang that down. We might have to shrink it. So the rest of this area here actually came out very well. This spot here is where the stud was. It pulled it a little bit too much. So I put the shrinking tip into the stinger and we're gonna try and shrink that down a little bit.
<laughs> it actually looks awesome. Good. It's, really, it's stayed in frame this entire time. Okay, so we've got this pulled up now. You can see that there's a very slight little dent there. This is like probably the thickness of a piece of paper. So where we're at now, the shape is back where it's supposed to be. This is pulled out. You've got a little bit of a ridge in here. So if we go and sand this with 80 grit, this is ready for body filler. And just enough, probably even the high build primer like slick sand or something would take care of the rest of that. I could probably grind this down a little bit, but because this is a motorcycle tank, I don't want to go too far with it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start stripping off the paint on the top to try and see if we can see the emblem. Now I know for a fact that this is not the way that you use body filler where the emblems are, but some fillers say a quarter to an eighth of an inch is within their spec. Myself, I try not to be bigger than two sheets of paper. All right, let's get rid of all this and see what we're dealing with. All right, we're starting to show where the uh, emblem is here and you can see how much filler is actually in this spot. So we'll keep going until we've got this stripped off probably to about back here and carry on. This is not an acceptable amount of filler. So what we got here is some dents that we're gonna pull. You can see how this is kind of wrinkled up a bit. So hopefully pulling those is gonna transfer that load back into here. Now you can see that this Bondo was put on so thick that right there there's actually a, a air pocket that was in there. This is not the way that you put on filler. This was probably mixed. A lot of guys I've talked about in the past where they whip it and they introduce air into it. This uh, would have been better off if they would have cut the tank and metal shaped a piece and welded it back in rather than trying to uh, repair it the way that they did. 